Welcome back to another how-to video. Today we have a house that we acquired. It has black mold in it that's down in the basement that's really covered. We're going to go through it, evaluate it. Today all we're going to do is look at the house. We're not going to disturb any kind of uh, sheetrock or anything else. So today basically uh, safety equipment, all we need is glasses, uh, gloves, and a mask, a 95 on our mask. These are normal ones you can get at any uh, hardware store. One thing you do want is once you start the demo and you do any kind of work, I mean, I highly recommend getting a full respirator. Uh, this, this goes down to all the particulates that it will filter out, but just safety wise, all of our guys wear these when they're doing the demo, safety purposes only, but I mean, you can wear these, but I, I feel better safety. And the other thing is the Tyvexes, we wear Tyvex suits, so that way uh, anything that's floating in the air comes on this, they change at the end of the day. Um, safety wise, equipment wise, uh, hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide, baking soda, and OxyClean. That is what is better than chlorine. And, and it, it, this is coming from the professionals. So this is what we use, is you get a quart of hydrogen peroxide, a tablespoon of baking soda, and a tablespoon of OxyClean when you're wiping it down and cleaning it. This, this cleans it takes care of it. The other stuff that we use uh, is called MMR. This is, uh, you buy them in the gallons or two gallon, two and a half gallons. We buy it both, but what's bad about this is it doesn't last long. It doesn't have long shelf life. We use Bad Axe, same, same company. It's an MMR product, but it's a concentrate. So it, you have to break it down with water and mix it. But the shelf life on this is like three years. So money wise, lasts a lot longer, you're going to get what you have at, out of it. So we just mix it up into our little containers and we spray. So we're going to go ahead and go downstairs and look at the basement. So here we go. We're going to go downstairs now. Stairs are steep. So watch your step uh -huh. and I have to say that the last time I told him to watch his step he fell into a hole that I told him was there <laughs> so please watch your step we acquired this house a few weeks ago if you start panning around uh, you can see the mold it came up a little ways on it I'll even give you guys some better pictures on some of the mold that I call it hair because it's growing. But right now, since it's cold here, uh, there's different sayings on it that in the colder months, it doesn't spread because it goes more dormant. I don't take a chance. I, I consider it mold all the time and it's active all the time for health purposes. So we'll go into one of the bedrooms. And you can go ahead and pan around that this is not sheetrock and it's not a textured paint. This is mold. Sometimes you get some really pretty colors and some pretty things that you'd think that someone textured their walls this way. Normally when we come in here, we'll pull the sheetrock down. This sheetrock has already came down, so that's why I don't have to expose anything. What this does is it gives us the opportunity to look and see up in the cavities. And as you can see, you can see mold on both sides. It's on the back side of the, of the sheetrock. So it tells you that it's gone through on both sides. So our policy is we'll, we'll gut this whole place. We will not even take a chance because we always consider that I can't have my own kids and grandkids live in this type of house that when, once we get done, it's going to be safe. And right now, all I'm doing is looking down into the floor joists, seeing how far the mold is carried. And it, it really, ha it, isn't, it isn't bad. We've had worse house than this. Uh, we'll come in here and spray everything, pull it down and spray it and wash it. Uh, once you wash it, we vacuum everything 
with the HEPA filters. And we, I mean, when I say vacuum, it isn't a, a light vacuum. We do a heavy brush type vacuum to where we clean all crevices and everything else. And then our final thing is, is we bring in a pre professional scrubber. And what it is, it's a company that deals with mold and they have uh, all their HEPA vats and everything else. And we'll put those throughout the house and we'll have the HEPA filters run for four or five days. And what that does is it literally pulls all the air out of this whole house and filters it and cleans it. And that way we get a clean bill of health. So that way when we sell it, we have documentation saying that we actually did clean it and we did clean it accordingly, that we meet all the specs. And once we sell it, that the people that buy it have a little faith on that it was done correctly. I mean, this, this type of mold is nothing to mess with. This is a major health issue that could be with breathing, especially with children and the elderly. You, you hear about it all the time on TV. And what it was is it was a water line. We did find the water line. It was broken upstairs. But as you can see, I mean, even with the furniture and everything, there's mold on the furniture and appliances and everything else we do not keep any of this all this stuff goes to the trash to the dump I mean you can like I say it's gone up some walls all the way some only went up partial walls and it just depends on the breathing room and what's behind the walls and everything else and how the air can move I have some uh, axe stuff with me. I always like just finding a spot where it's easy and spray it just to see how it works. So we'll go back into the bedroom. And I'll spray around the window. With me spraying, um, some companies will come out there, this is all they'll do, is they'll spray it, then they'll come in and wash it, and they'll paint right over it, and leave it the way it is. We don't work that way. We take everything back, make sure we got it all completely out to where I don't have to worry about any health purposes or uh, environmental issues. You can see all the different pretty little black molds, the different colors of it. Some of it even has, I always call it hair on it, that's kind of growing. So we'll wait a little bit and then we'll relook at it and see how it does. Up here, I don't know if you can see, if you can bring the camera. And if you can see that, but that's what I'm talking about when I'm saying it's growing, and it's hair, the little light brown stuff. It almost looked like cobwebs. Okay, we'll wait a few minutes. As you can see, I'm gonna spray. It's coming, it's thinning down some, but as heavy as this is, it's gonna take a while. So what we're gonna do is, I'm going to spray it, and later in the video, we'll come back and look at it and see if it did any good. Uh, it really doesn't matter. This sheetrock is coming down as far as I'm concerned. I will not take a chance. Hey, that's it for the walkthrough. But remember, before you go into this house, you want to make sure that you have the correct gear. Uh, before we go through now, what we're going to do is we're going to have, we'll bring in an environmental people that will test for asbestos on the sheetrock. That is one thing that's required. You cannot demo anything with sheetrock uh, without having it tested because right now with the state requirements and everything else, if the sheetrock has asbestos, then we have to bring in uh, a qualified asbestos abatement crew that can remove the asbestos. More likely what I can see that we're going to be okay on this one. So uh, we'll just uh, get the testing done 
once the testing's done, then we'll be able to come back out and we'll video more and let you guys see what how we progress through this stages.